The level of competition is definitely different for Washington State here tonight. Pressure picked up. That throw is knocked away incomplete. Good defense from Deontay Anderson, a very talented safety. It's fourth and ten. And didn't you see it right here? Defensive back just really absolutely just playing tight to man-to-man -man coverage. A raid system. Play clock down almost all the way to zero. King got it off. Now he's in scramble mode. He throws on the move and right on the money. A pass completed with a block down the sideline and tackled into Washington State territory. Keith Corbin, the senior, with the catch and run. The holding calls. He was a madman on the sidelines during that last timeout. King now going to run, and he gets pulled down from behind. That is the part of the field. They have a good field goal kicker. It's the part of the field at the 31 where Houston could consider going for it. Instead, it looks like the special teams is coming on the field. As long as you can go ahead and put this through the uprights. Officially, we'll call it a 48-yard attempt, and the kick is going to push wide right. No good. Hold back in their own territory. Washington State. Gordon was looking deep. Now flushed, and he's going backwards and going down. David Anini with the sack. Down the field, but he's just not really seeing the field as clearly as he has in the first two weeks. And you see here, they only rush three, and they spy with Anini, and he comes on the blitz third and long type of situation. Third and very long. They're going to throw across the middle. And that's a nice gain, but a tackle well short of the first down, just short of midfield. Travell Harris with the catch. King throws short, and it's caught with some blockers ahead. That was a good open field tackle, otherwise maybe a bigger gain. Bryson, Bryson Smith, we'll watch him because he looked a little banged up. He's one of those playmakers. A good block in the backfield, but they needed a couple more blockers. Drop for a loss. A good play in the open field. They make his uh, fellow alums proud. King with the fake. Straight ahead running. Broke a tackle. Spins away. De'Eric King. He is so dynamic. And he just runs the zone read and pulls it and takes off running. And in the open field, again, this is something that Washington State has to start having it in. King swings it out. Cut upfield, but the Washington State defense was right there. Kyle Porter had nowhere to go. The run and making tackles against those short passes. A little quicker tempo there on third down. King whistles right in there. Touchdown, Houston. For a road win. How about the Jayhawks? They lost at home to Coastal Carolina last week. Gordon delivers. And a big hit. Arcanado hung on to the ball. Ouch on both ends. Be down a safety. Well, that's a good clean hit. And Brendan Arcanado, look, he is as tough as they come. This is a former walk-on now that is absolutely lead. Oh. He's really pacing the group as far as. Back in shotgun. They got more normal looking after they broke that initial formation. Another throw across the middle. Tay Martin hangs on, first down. Mike Leach is very high on this young man. Gordon with plenty of time. Over the top, and he's got his man open, caught, touchdown. He stopped Winston. Well, you weren't going to shut him out, but that was a good answer from Washington State. Anthony Gordon started executing. You see him look left, come back right. He stopped, he set him up perfectly, got behind the defensive back. And it's six. Now we have a ball game. Mexico State, Northern Colorado, both games at home in Pullman. First road test of his major college career. De'Ara King, meanwhile, he's been tested a lot. And he has come to play here this evening. Up a long touchdown drive. Last time they had the ball. A little pitch play with the receiver coming across the formation. Nice move. Now there is a penalty flag thrown. This one I don't think is against Houston. I think King got hit. So first down. King, spin move. The Eric King bounces it outside. Wow. Inside the 20 for another Houston first down. These designed runs are just right now giving Washington State fits. And you can see once he right here on the quarterback draw, just look at that spin move behind the line of scrimmage. And then Justice Rogers has no chance right there. He has no chance of making a play.
He gave up a third down catch for a touchdown last time Houston had the ball handoff this time straight ahead nice moves Inside the five still going Patrick Carr first down to Houston. It'll be first and goal on the middle third and goal from the one and they do have a tight end in. King is going to come up to the line, take the direct snap, get a push from his running back into the end zone. Where's the official signal? There it is. Touchdown. Tim Tebow has an absolutely good company. Derek King is putting on a show just like they needed him to tonight. A short kickoff there. And Harris will bounce it out to the right side with speed. Across the 35 and across the 40. A powerful finish there. So All the time in the world, and he's got another catch inside the 40. So two plays, and already Washington State is into Houston territory. When the big Swede is involved, Parker, Paul Carcaterra gets involved. That pass into some coverage, but he fit it in there beautifully over the top to Bell for the catch. Another Washington State first down. It's loud in here on third and nine. Over the top, toward the end zone, into coverage, and it's intercepted. Gleason Sprewell comes up with the pick. First turnover of the night on either side. Houston's defense finds a way to get the stop. Well, does a great job of coming over the top here. You see the corner. He's up there against Roderick Fisher, and you see Gleason Sprewell coming to the screen late because all he did was just read. All he did was read what the quarterback did here. You see Sprewell just going to take off to the sideline, take the ball out of the air at his highest point. That right there is textbook safety play. Textbook safety play. Winding down, though, down to one. They get the play snapped. All that for De'Ara King just trying to run for it. <laughs> and it worked. See, run for it. King, is he going to try to sneak? The ball's on the turf. And Houston's not going to get it. That just turned into a disaster. And I think they were in too much of a hurry. It doesn't matter whether Washington State recovered or not, because it was fourth down. The ball's going to Washington State no matter what. The quarterback center exchange, that's the most fundamental thing that you can have in football. And look, Braylon Jones, the starting center for Houston, he started at right guard the past two years, so you saw that you kind of wonder if what that maybe that was a contributing factor. Or something. Trying to convert a third down for the first time. Gordon did not like what he saw at first. He'll dump it down, and Borgie has got the first down and more. Such a great safety valve for Washington State, the sophomore Max Borgie. Yeah. On a regular basis. Second and two, play fake, and that little inside screen play caught inside the five. Lunging for the goal line. Great effort from Tay Martin. But he's stopped about a yard short. This is where they often do give it to number 21. They'll hand it off to Borgie. Touchdown. Well, the turnover turns into six points and maybe one more for Washington State. An extra point away from tying this game. It's been seven. Man in motion. King in the pocket. Looking downfield, he'll take the hit and deliver the ball incomplete. Off the hands of his receiver. That one could have been caught, I think. It's a good job right there by Willie Taylor as far as hitting Derrick King legally. And then you see the safe play in these dirty type of football games where it's not all big plays and theatrics. He throws across the middle. Arcanado with another catch and run. That's a Washington State first down from near midfield. Gordon. Looking to go downfield. That guy has been open over and over again. Arcanado, another catch and another first down. How difficult it was for him, and he decided for football, and I like this kid's future. There's Patman. Open! Touchdown! There he is. Maybe the first time we have called his name. Lewis <laughs> just mentioned him. Where is he? And Des Patman with the touchdown from number 18. Third and five. King with time. Nowhere to go with the ball. Penalty flag thrown, so it might not matter. Mm. King takes a big hit anyway and gets shoved out of bounds short. The calls and see if they can play with some enthusiasm and some momentum and get him off the field on third down. Borgie with the catch and a leap over the defender, Max Borgie. Well, we said people like to compare him to Christian McCaffrey. Both kids from Colorado, both do it all, all around backs. That's a nice play. He's 10 for his last 10 passing. He's going over the top. Well, there's the perfect example. It's third and one if you throw that pass. Yep, I don't know. Beat on what they're trying to do offensively. 
Pressure comes. King, not this time. He cannot escape. Will Rogers got in there. They're not going to sit back and play passively. And here they just rush forward. And Will Rogers is throws a tremendous pass rush move from the inside there. And he gets held. He almost he gets pulled to the ground. But that's his great balance, great finishing. Sack, third and 14. King, pressure up the middle, takes a big hit. Over the top, incomplete. My goodness, De'Ara King is starting to take some shots. A nice job of changing up their looks. And in this situation, and when what And to the Zebras, not Cougars, but the penalties have been a huge factor. Across the middle, there's Patman for his second catch out to the 25, short of a first down. Fourth quarter, third and nine, touchdown game. Gordon with a penalty flag thrown, intercepted. There's Anderson who got the hit the play before. He comes up with the pick here, and we'll see. Oh, they say no catch. Incompletion, not an interception. Well, Anderson sure hopped up like he was sure. The penalty is going to be a hold against Washington State. number 65, that penalty is declined. Fourth down. So that ends up being a 20-yard net punt. Look at the penalties in this game. It been a big factor. Porter with the carry. Bounces it outside. Into Washington State territory. Kyle Porter with the nice run. And Dana Holgerson's version. They are going to run the ball more often. They flick it back to Marquez Stevenson. Steven with speed. And Stevenson pushed out of bounds. Another Houston first down. Now you can be creative. Let's find out. They rush four, it looked like. The pass is incomplete. He had him. He had him. And the ball was just a little bit overthrown. Not back. They have two still on second and 11. Anthony Gordon being chased on the move. Throws. He's got his man caught for a first down and much more. Arcanado with another catch and run. Create, which is something I didn't realize he had to his game. He has shown off a lot of game, and he put that one right on target. Bouncing it to the outside. On the move, Tay Martin inside the 30 and all the way down close to the 20. First and 10 on the move. Anthony Gordon will swing it out to the flat. And that is going backwards. You can kind of see that coming. Second and 14. Gordon throws, and this time he sees his receiver. Martin inside the 10. Tay Martin gets driven down. But that's another Washington State first down. Inside the 10. And Washington State's got first and goal. Gordon steps up, throws. And it is caught for the touchdown. Travell Harris. Against zone or when they're man to man, just breaking their routes off and really just turning it into playground ball like you would do out at recess when you're in elementary school. From Houston, Texas. Dear King will throw short, a little crossing route, and the ball comes out at the end of that play. I'm not sure if he was down or not. Marquez Stevenson lost the ball. And now a true rugby scrum to try to come away with it. I'll tell you what, Bryce Beekman, the safety, closed on that thing like a flash. And Washington and State comes up with the ball. Look at this. This is a tremendous play. Helmet right on the football. And as a receiver, you can't hold on to the ball when someone places their hat on it like that. Six. A play fake. And the catch and run after the catch for a Washington State first down to the 15-yard line. It's third and goal from the five. Play clock all the way down. Gordon, a design run it looked like, but he stumbled. <laughs> I don't know if he's mad, if he's laughing. <laughs> he was not lying. 22-yard field goal try. Kick is up, and it is good. So you got the full 14-point lead now. This it results in the fact that they get guys on the ground and not getting a lot of yards after the catch. And off. Patrick Carr will get the first down and much more. Carr gets out of bounds inside the 15. Guarded because you're carrying the fortunes of the rest of the roster in your hands. And if you turn it over, this team will make you pay. King out of the open here. A King touchdown. Not over yet. Here's the uh, decision-making here. 
I think Washington State definitely yeah, yeah. thinks there's a possibility of They're the, playing them for the onside. They are. It's a single return of that. They're going to, on the turf, big high bounce, and it is taken by Washington State. So well done. That does not end the game. It's all about being patient, continuing to develop. Now's your time to shine. Oh, Borgie breaks tackles, and he gets the first down. He gets pulled out of bounds. So that Look, he played He's at CCSF eight. the last time he started a game before this year. They Tre weren't on ESPN. Tremendous story, tremendous competitiveness tonight. This is a good win for them because of the way they won. And I think they've learned something about their football team now as they get into the meat of their schedule. Two guys who've known each other for 30 years. Now they can be friends again.